Jungs. Actually. All right. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You, you got okay? back okay in the end. It's well, I think it's a big boost to have uh, not just the experience, but the, the, the quality of player that, that we've brought back in. I think looking back at the last camp, the things that we wanted to introduce uh, for the next two years, uh, when you're introducing new things and, and, and slightly different uh, mentality, then you need your experienced players that have been there and done it. Uh, and we probably missed that on the last camp, a little bit of experience to guide the younger players. Uh, I think I've said openly that, that in the summer, uh, you look at the best players in the tournament, the, the majority were senior players, senior players that had been to probably more than one, two World Cups, which shows that experience has a still massive part to play in what we're trying to do with England. And uh, to get Jill back, uh, Fran, who were really good players for us in the summer, Alex Greenwood, who's had a really good start to the season and had a good World Cup, and to get Jordan back is, is, uh, is really exciting. Uh, yeah, I think the... First and foremost, they were, they were poor results uh, and we were disappointed with the performances. We can't hide away from that. But I think in reflection, on reflection after the camps, I've got to say that, one, probably I've got to take a lot of responsibility for those, those results because I, I put a lot of emphasis in that camp on the changing of the mentality of keep uh, moving forward and, and maybe didn't probably, or I underestimated the, the emotional fatigue that the players were still suffering from the World Cup. Uh, to, to reach the emotional heights, both emotionally and physically, uh, was incredible in the summer. And Jordan Nobbs, she has really been through it. She missed out, of mm. course, on the World Cup. And, you know, yeah. ACL injuries are not easy to come back from, are they? What's it been no. like for her? Well, she's... Her mentality has been great. Uh, we've kept her involved in most things that we've been doing. She, she, she's come to a couple of camps. She visited us in the summer because she was doing some uh, media work. We, we're always been in constant contact with her. Her attitude is phenomenal. And, and from the minute that she obviously got diagnosed, her, her focus was to get back into that English shirt as quickly as possible. And uh, we said when we spoke to Arsenal and we're talking to Arsenal now about taking our time, making sure we don't rush anything, making sure that we have Jordan for the next... 10 years, not just the next six months, uh, but her enthusiasm, the performances that she's had so far this season, even I went to watch her in the, the, the first game of the season against West Ham, she came on for 25 minutes and she had more touches the ball than, than anybody, her enthusiasm to, to make an impact. Then she, then she came on against Fiorentina in the Champions League and we saw that and then she started, she played 90 minutes yesterday, I watched her at Manchester United last week and you know that. That player that, that we, we have come accustomed to, that we missed in the World Cup, has, has got back up to speed incredibly. And that's testament to the work and the dedication that she, she put in while she was out injured.